Hi, um, this is a video for Stockport Sling Library um, and this is going to be a video on how to use a woven wrap um, ring sling. Um, we've just done a little video on how to put thread the ring sling and prepare it for um, for use um, and this video is just going to be for how to actually put baby in. So I've already threaded my ring sling and prepared it and I'm going to now pop it back on again. Now you can use a ring sling on either shoulder, my preference is my left shoulder. So to put it on I'm going to slide my hand through and put it up over my shoulder. Okay, so I'm just going to spend a couple of seconds just getting it into the right spot. So I want to make sure that the material is nice and spread out across the back and that the rings are sitting on my um, shoulder, just below my shoulder, and that the pouch is nice and um, straight. Okay. As I said before in the other video, um, you don't need a huge amount of space to get baby in, just enough so that you can pop baby in and we can do a little bit of tightening. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my little one. So this is a demo doll. Um, and this baby is a roughly, probably around three to six months mark, maybe somewhere in between, depending on the size of your baby, okay? so. When babies get to around that sort of six month mark, you probably end up carrying them much more on your hip um, as they naturally start to open their hips wider and that's generally how you end up carrying the babies of a slightly older age. When they're more newborn and smaller, we're going to be more um, on, our, on our front because they can't spread the legs as wide. But it's normally a sort of slightly just off center position that you're actually going to hold baby in. Okay, so what we're gonna do, Get baby up onto your shoulder with both arms up and then we're going to use one hand to slide underneath the um, pocket get both baby's legs and just gently guide them inside the material okay so at this point all you're aiming for is to get the material underneath the baby's bottom and into both knees, under both knees, just like a rope going from this knee to this knee, okay? So just spend a, little, a couple of seconds getting that nice deep M position where the baby's bottom is lower than their knees and the material is right underneath here, okay? So once baby's there and you've got the material positioned nicely, you can start to find your top rail which is basically the top part or the top hem of the material. Now it may get a little bit trapped underneath the baby's bottom, but use your hand here and just gently pull the material up and around across baby's back, okay? So you can see already that the baby's quite secure and inside the material. So for a newborn, you would pull the material right up to the top of their head and let it drop back down again. For a six months, you just pull it halfway up the back of their head and let it drop back down. And then for a toddler, you would just pull it up to just basically where their neck is and let it sit there. Okay, so now I've got baby in and already it feels quite secure because it was quite tight to begin with. Um, I need to start doing a little bit of tightening. So for under six months, you want to make sure that baby's arms are inside here. If they're over six months, then they may choose to bring their arm out or both arms out, which is fine, as long as you've got the material up um, a reasonable amount and, and nice and tight so they're not going to fall. By doing this method with the rope method, which means all that material was bunched up underneath here, it means that the most majority of material is still underneath their bottom, creating that seat. So you don't need to go diving inside and pulling the material up between you and baby and, and, and creating a seat because you've already got that material there. So what I'm gonna start by doing is just getting the slack coming from under my arm here. So I don't feel like I've got that much, but I'm going to bring it round like this so that it's bringing it to the rings here, which is where I'm going to tighten. So I'm then going to use the top rail, which will correspond to this part of the material, and I'm going to tighten. It's usually a good idea to lift baby's weight a little bit as you do this and just gently tighten. So. In terms of tightening, it won't work if you pull it outwards or that way or downwards. You have to go in the direction of where the material is sort of pointing, so across that way. And then you can continue and do that again. 
you feel that you need to. Just make sure it's down and there. Now I'm just going to spend a couple of seconds going through each bit of material. So I'm just going to go strand by strand, just grabbing sections of the material and just tightening as I go. You can see it's just slightly moving. Now that already feels quite tight. The bottom feels snug and tight anyway, so don't really need to be tightening that anymore. What I sometimes do now is if I hook my thumb under here and just pull down the material to make sure it feels nice and comfortable there. Make sure that this baby's hand is here. Yep, yeah. so that feels quite snug. A um, little bit up around my neck there, so I'm just going to pull that down tiny bit more just to spread that material out but as you can see um also if you want to make sure it's snug around here just again pull your finger in just pull that material around underneath the bottom just continue to pull it around here and then you can just slightly tighten that up again but that feels very snug baby feels nice and comfortable baby's hands are up here as i said baby may choose to lift one arm out when they're about six months and that's absolutely fine you can see nicely it's really snug Um, if i kind of leaned slightly forward baby is pretty much glued to me so they're not going to swing away from you um, and it feels secure underneath the bottom here lots of material and it's into both knee into both knees there so it's nice and snug Um, with this part of the material you have a couple of options you can leave it dangling you could loop it up and around here and just wrap it around the rings if you just want a bit of cushioning on the rings again you don't have to you could also if you want to give baby a little bit of extra cushioning around here you can just use a section of the material and just tuck it in and just loop it underneath and just tuck it around like that and that will just give a little bit of an extra roll of material there um, and it will go material go and just tuck it underneath as well if you wish but again you don't have to do that but if you've got a tiny newborn on your front and um, that's a good way of just giving a little bit of extra support around the neck there probably not making sure you do the whole thing because it may be too thick and you want to make sure baby can still move the head enough so just a smallish section um, of this just rolled over a few times and just tucked underneath there. This baby's a bit bigger, so I'm not gonna, not don't need to do that. I'll just tighten it up again. Um, that's great. Feeding in these is really, really simple. So for example, if I wanted to feed on this side, what I would basically do is release this ring a tiny bit here. So you can see this ring that's on top here. If you just pull your finger underneath there and just pull it, you'll notice it slackens and pulls away. I would get baby's legs to come round into this position so that the material is basically going across both of their knees and still supporting again you may need to slacken it a tiny bit depending on where you need to get baby get the if you can get both hands one there and one here obviously you may need to get into a position with your clothing first otherwise baby may get a bit frustrated but what we're aiming for is to have baby's legs supported here to have no material across the back of their head um, because we want to enable the baby's head to be able to tilt backwards so they can get a nice wide open mouth and get a good latch. Again, you may need to slacken it off a tiny bit depending on the size of your baby to bring bring baby round into a good position. But once you put baby in, and in that position, you can tighten up if you need to. It's great cover as well if you wanted to use it as a bit of a cover. You're still going to need to use one arm to just protect baby's um head and just give a bit of support try not to use the crook of your arm because again this stops the baby's head from being able to tilt backwards so use your forearm here so that you're still allowing that tilt of the head to go backwards um, but you're certainly going to be one hand free um, to be able to do a few things let baby feed once you're happy and baby's um, stopped feeding you're going to put them back up into that same position so just lift baby up pull them back the material back into that position underneath their legs there we go and then just re-tighten it up again so 
using the same process, top rail, and just pulling across and then just going along each section of the material and just pulling and tightening. Again, you may need to just grab the slack from underneath, pull it and pulling it underneath and then just tightening a little bit. Um, and that's basically you're back to where you started from. Yeah. Baby's arms up again, just to make sure they can move and you're basically good to go again. <laughs> it is a little bit of a learning curve, the ring sling, but once you've got it, it can be a brilliant sling from newborn up to preschool. Um, really quick, easy to pop on. You can even keep it on if you want to or in your bag um, and great for quick up and downs in the house or quick journeys out of the car. Um, really versatile and very strong. Okay, any questions, message the library. Thank you.